Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new Ukraine tutorial. This week, let's learn another very important scale, the minor one. But to be 100% precise, if I'm only saying minor scale, I'm not really telling you which scale you're gonna be working on. In fact, you need to know that there are three types of minor scales, natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor. In this lesson, you will learn about the natural minor one, which can also be called the Iolian mode. On another note, if you're new to scales, I suggest you start with the major scale. You can find a tutorial over here. Having said that, let's get this lesson started. So, you might know that if you play all the white keys of a piano starting from A, you get the A natural minor scale. Let's see how that translates on the ukulele. So the best way to be able to learn about a scale is to understand its formula. The formula of the natural minor scale is this. If you follow my lesson on the major scale, you already know what this means, but if you haven't, I'm here to help you. The W stands for whole step, meaning one tone distance between two notes. You have this on the ukulele, when you play one fret, you skip the next one, and you play the one after. You see, there is a fret in between the two notes I'm playing. The H instead stands for half step. In this case, we're talking about adjacent notes, notes that are next to each other, like this. Having clarified that, let's follow the formula so that you can build the A natural minor scale. As you're working on the A natural minor, you will of course start from A. And let's start from the A on the open first string. So remember, now you need to move a whole step and so you will have fret number two, B. Then a half step, so fret number three, C. Now a whole step, so fret number five, D. Another whole step, so fret number seven, E. Now a half step, so fret number eight, F a whole step, so fret number 10, G, and you end with another whole step on fret number 12, which is of course A. As you can see, you started from A and you ended on A. Let's play the entire scale again. Three, four, one more time, You might have noticed that the notes of the A natural minor scale are the same as the ones of the C major scale. That's because A minor is the relative minor of C major. They have the same key signature, meaning that they share all the same notes, but they are arranged in a different order. Because of the different order, there are two different scales. They sound different, they have a different root note and a different tonal center. You can find the relative minor of a major scale by moving a 6 apart from its root. So for example, for C, you will have C, D, E, F, G, and A. Whilst for F, you will have F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. By the way, this is not the only example of when you have the same notes for different scales. For instance, C major pentatonic and A minor pentatonic share the same notes as well. I understand that at first it might not make sense, but this is a pretty common thing in music. Now, without waiting any longer, let's start looking at the five positions, shapes, to play the natural minor scale everywhere on the fretboard. As always, I will show you the five positions in D. In this key, you don't have open strings in position one, like you would have, for example, in C. Open strings can create a bit of confusion, and so I prefer avoiding them when explaining a scale, especially for position one, which is really the most important position to fully understand the scale. Of course, later you will learn how to transpose the natural minor scale in any key. Having said that, let's get started. For the first position, you start from fret number two on the third string, then four, five, then three, five and six on the second string and then three and five on the first string. You then go back and you have five, three, six, five, three, five, four, two. Let's do it again. Three, four,
by the way, the note highlighted is the root of the scale, in this case D. Pay attention to this as it's going to be very important later on when you're going to learn how to transpose the scale. And one more thing, you also have another D here on fret number 5. For the second position, you start from fret number 4, then 5, 7, then 5, 6, 8, then 5, which is the root, and 7. When you go back, you have 7, 5, 8, 6, 5, 7, 5, 4. Let's do it again. 3, 4, Notice how I keep all the fingers on the fretboard when playing. You see? I recommend you do this so that when learning scales, you can also work on your technique. Position 3 starts from fret number 5, then 7, then 5, 6, 8, then 5, the root, 7, 8. When you go back, you have 8, 7, 5, 8, 6, 5, 7, and 5. Let's do it again. 3, 4. You might have noticed that this is exactly like the F major scale in position 1. As you've learned before, that's because D minor is the relative minor of F major. One more thing, this position is open for discussion because it could have started from fret number 7 and go like this. Feel free to use this pattern instead. Position 4 starts from fret number 7, then 9, then 10, then 8, 10, there you go, the root, and then 7, 8, and 10. When you go back, you have 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 7. Let's do it again. 3, 4, Okay, now let's move on to the last one. The fifth and last position starts from fret number 10, then 12, then 10, the root, 12, 13, then 10, 12, and 13. When you go back, you have 13, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10. Let's do it again. 3, 4, Now you know all the positions to play the minor scale everywhere on the fretboard. Remember, you can start from the lowest note in every position or from the root. Having said that, so far you only know how to play the D natural minor scale, but the good thing is that once you know one of them, you know them all. If you follow my other tutorials about scales, you already know what I'm going to be talking about, but let me explain it again for everyone who's new. So, before I always highlighted the root for you. In fact, knowing where the root is will help you to transpose the scales in other keys. All you have to do is find the root, change it to the new one, the one that you want, and then apply one of the positions you've just learned. Let me show you how it works. For example, you know this is D natural minor in position one, and the root is here. Now, say you want to play F-sharp natural minor scale. Of course, the root has to be F-sharp. So you have D, then D-sharp, E, F, and F-sharp. I'm just going through the notes in chromatic order. You know, D, D-sharp, E, F, F-sharp, G, G-sharp, and so on and so on. Going back to this, now that you've found the root, you simply play position 1 starting from F-sharp. you 
go your F sharp natural minor scale. Now let's find out how to play B natural minor in position two. So this was the in position two. And the root is here. Now you need to move this one to B. So you will go backwards. D, D flat, C and B. So now the root is on fret 2. Before you had the root on fret 5 and you started the scale on fret 4. So there were no frets in between. Of course, you need to have the same distance. So here I am with the root on fret number 2 and I don't want to have any frets in between, which means the scale will start from fret number 1 on the third string. You see, same distance as before, 5, 4, 2, 1. Now I can play B natural minor in position two. By the way, you also have the option of starting the scale from the root and then work out the rest. The aim of this tutorial was to introduce you to the natural minor scale and teach you how to play it everywhere on the fretboard and in any key. Of course, today I showed you all the five positions to play the minor scale, but work on them one at a time. You don't want to work on position two if you're still not 100% clear with position one. One more thing, don't forget that you can use the natural minor scale for improvising. However, if you're new at it, I suggest you start with the minor pentatonic, which is a bit easier. You can find a tutorial for it over here. On my Patreon page, you can find the tabs for the five positions you've learned today. Moreover, you can find free backing tracks at three different tempos to practice the D natural minor scale and also the F sharp and the B1. With the backing tracks, you get to practice the minor scale over a chord progression so that it's a bit more musical and so that you can also start exploring the sound of the scale a bit more. Also, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if everything is clear. And if you want to know more about scales, check out this playlist. By the way, if you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-Step Roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process I follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!